Hey guys, today I'd like to do a product review of a little item that I've had for a few months now and I've been testing it out. This is the Barnes & Noble Nook. It's the second generation version of the Nook. The first generation uh, was a little bit different design. It was a little longer. It had a touch screen that was in color here and the battery life was around, I don't know, two weeks maybe. This is the new one that came out. I've had it since around May, June, and I've been testing it out ever since. It's part of my uh, bug out library if you've seen that video that I had. Uh, but I also use it just for general reading as, as well right now. And I really, really like this e-reader. It's extremely thin, light, uh, you can store tons of books on it. I'm not going to give all the specs for it. I mean, it's pretty easy just to list off specs on the, the height and weight and everything like that. Uh, but I'll just include those all in the description down here and I'll give you a link to the Barnes & Noble website. So what I wanted to do is just give you my general impressions of this device, how it works, uh, pros and cons with it, and just go from there. So uh, first off, it's extremely handy to have your whole book library with you anywhere that you go. I mean, there's really no excuse for not carrying, you know, a thousand books with you everywhere you go. Uh, it's, it's extremely light. It, uh, you know, it's lighter than a magazine. And uh, I really like that part about it. The, the main part I like is that the battery life is incredibly long. It lasts two months with the Wi-Fi off. Now I've tried it with Wi-Fi on. It lasted it last me between 14 and 16 days before it needed a general power up. But it only took three hours to power it up to full after that, which I thought was pretty impressive. But with Wi-Fi off, I have verified that it works about two hours, I mean two months with regular use. And I also, what I also liked about it is that the, the powering method to, to power it uh, is very uh, it's simple design. It's not some proprietary cable that you need. It's just a, a USB micro. And you can even take this out, out of the, uh, the wall outlet and uh, you, pl you plug it into your, your computer and it, and it charges on the wall. It's plugged into the computer as well. So I thought that was very beneficial for this device. Uh, I hate it when I have to get some special cable for a device that I need. So I'm going to take you to the just the main screen. So basically when you press the little the button here, the Nook button, uh, it, it gives you the home, your, your library, your shop, your search, and your settings. Uh, and all of these, what, what, in this review, I, I like devices that I don't need to read directions on. I get, that might be just be a guy thing, I don't know, but I don't like reading directions. So I want a device to work how I imagine it should work. So I don't want to have to, have to do some special little key combination to do something that should be very basic. So that's how I'm going to be kind of grading this. So this whole review is done without reading the instruction manual, because I don't want to read that. So if you go to the home, the touch screen is very responsive. Uh, you know, it, I, I, sometimes, I mean, it's weird pushing on something without feeling, you know, any kind of resistance or anything, but it, uh, I found that even with my, I have big hands and that I'm able to, you know, select everything fairly consistently and have it uh, automatically uh, selected. So uh, like right, right now, this, this is uh, how to survive the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> That's the book I'm reading. Uh, well, I've kind of going in and out of reading it in, in other books and, uh, you know, turning, turning the pages is very, uh, very simple to do. Uh, you could either use these buttons on the top and you could program which buttons you want to turn, or you could also do it with a touch screen. This is a full touch screen uh, e-reader, which is a little different than the Amazon Kindle. And uh, this is one of the main reasons I also like this device too, is I, I like having that touch screen capability. And it also what is nice is that the, the Nook, the new Nook, caches about five pages, I think, of, of, you know, of pages. So, so you're not always having that constant uh, refresh of the, of the page where it turns black and then the, and then the font comes on. So when you're scrolling through it, you'll you'll notice that it, you could quickly turn through the pages, and then you saw the reef. That's the the start of the cache there. So it's very. It, I mean, it's just like reading a book. As you, I'm outside right now in the sunshine, and you can see that you know it's very easy to read the text on here, versus if you know with like something like uh, a screen that's like a, like my netbook, where geez, in the sun sun it's hard to read. And that's what you would probably get if you had like something like an iPad or the Color Nook, which is why I went with the uh, with the e, e ink. The e ink is extremely clear. I'm so surprised with it. It looks like you're on a screensaver or something, or it's a piece of paper that's on it. But it, it's actually uh, ink, and you can read it. Uh, what I liked about this as well is that uh, there's basically when you're reading, there's two different things you could do uh, with the general uh, controls with it. You could do a, a soft tap to bring in some. Uh, some different menu items, or you could do a hard tap and do some other selections. So with the soft tap, you get uh, you could research the content, like the table of contents of the of the book. You could do a find, uh, go to uh, text. There's some more things you could increase the text size extremely easy, or the font that you like to use with it. Uh, so like my fa my father-in-law, I talked him into getting one of these too, and. Uh, and he has his extremely large font like that, so he doesn't need to have his glasses. 
Uh, but I found that it works really well, even not on uh, just on uh, you know e books that are designed for the Nook, but also on PDFs. I found that the the, the font size uh, depends on the PDF, but it, it's, it changes extremely well. It's easy to read. So both you know EPUB books and uh, PDF books are you know you could make those kind of modifications to make it more desirable for you to read, which I really liked. Um, See, type press on it. Okay, so let me do another tap on it. What I really like is that since you have access to so many books in this, you could have, uh, you know, thousands of books if you want to, because it has a it has a micro SD card here, and I have thirty two a thirty two gig card in there, so I just have a ton of PDFs and uh, JPEGs and other other books on there as well. So what I really like is the, the option to be able to search through a book with a normal book. You know, if I'm reading. This book by James Patterson, and I want to learn about, want to uh, research on some particular character was that was in the book. And I have to manually go through this, and uh, but with uh, with the Nook, with the, all these e-readers, that being able to search for a particular uh, text or something that you remembered having or something you want to research is extremely easy to do. I found that the search uh, behaves well too, and it has this uh, you know the touch screen has its own keyboard here, so it's not a physical keyboard, which I, I like because so I whenever I have those kind of uh, you know whether they're physical buttons they they sometimes that some of them stick, some some of them wear out, and having it just all on the touch screen I found is very convenient. So uh, the search method I found it is ex works extremely well. So you, once you're in the book, you could search the book, and if, what you could also do is if you're back in your library, you could search uh, the library for particular item, books too. So I have you know a few hundred books in here right now, and I could uh, you know search for a particular topic like a cooking and then it'll, it'll show me all the cooking books I could go into the book and I could do a uh, you know, search for you know, Dutch ovens or something like that and then have it come up immediately and I find that to be extremely handy so if you're a student and if you had all your manuals in here or in your job setting I also have some work uh, PDF uh, specifications in here I'm able to also do searches on that so and on that aspect it's having uh, e-readers is definitely more desirable than having a book which you'd have to have you know several hundred uh, pounds of books and to be able to search all that and so quickly it's so that's one good aspect of this uh, let's see what else uh, so this is how you do the, you do the search for the book for if you're looking through your library over here there's also different settings for turning off the uh, Wi-Fi for uh, you know, changing your your background and everything. Shopping on the on the Barnes and Noble Nook, I also found is extremely. It works extremely well. It's a, uh, it's uh, almost kind of scary on how fast you could download a book and have it on here. Right now I'm kind of out in the in the woods a little bit, so I don't have access to Wi-Fi at this point. Uh, but you know you could you download books with just like you're downloading MP3s and uh, almost immediately it's on your Nook. You're ready to go and reading it. Uh, so it could be a little a little addicting sometimes. And so you got to watch the it links directly to your your, uh, whatever you know, card you want to use or your checking. So, uh, so continuing on, let me go back to uh, one of the books that I was going here. Home. The other option that you could do is when you're. Uh, so I did a, the soft tap before, so you could do also a hard tap, and it highlights particular words. So right now it searched on tidbit there, Egyptian right there is what it selected. So what I could do is I could highlight that text, or just like when you're reading a normal book, you know, you, you could have, uh, you could bring things like a pencil and a highlighter, and it works just the same way as what you would expect it to do on a real book. So when you're highlighting, you know, you, you're taking out your highlighter, you're putting it down there and highlighting the pages, and it works just like that on the Nook. So you, you're pressing down your finger on that to highlight a particular word, and then you stretch it out to the, the paragraph or the sentence that you want to highlight. And then on that highlight, say if I, I don't want to write on this book right now, but if I highlighted this paragraph and I wanted to put a note like uh, something on there, you do the same thing with these e-readers. So right now I have this all highlighted. I could add a add a note to it and type out using the the touchscreen keyboard on there on what something I want to add. And then once you have that all in there, you could do searches on that. So you could search for all your highlights on a particular book, all your notes on a particular book, uh, and bookmarks as well. Bookmarks, you know, when you're using a book, if you don't have a designated, you know, bookmark, you, you, most people just kind of bend the page like that. And so it just works kind of the same way on on the on the Nook. So you just you know click on the top here. And that's your bookmark right there. And so then you could go back and re, 
I'll go back to all your bookmarks if you want to. But I also found that a lot of the times this thing saves the page so nice. nice uh, I'm able to go back to the library, do some shopping, go search for some other things, and then go back to the book and I'll be right back at the page that I left off at. So I find that to be extremely handy to have. Sorry for talking so fast. I'm trying to keep this in a reasonable amount of time for this uh, uh, review of it. So some things that the, the Nook doesn't do, it's not an all-in-one type device. It's not like the iPad or even the, the Amazon Kindle is able to do audio so you can listen to MP3s. Um, you could have uh, some computer voice, you know, read you if you want to. Me personally, I, I like a thing that does one thing and does it extremely well. I don't like multifunction printers and things like that either. So what this, the Nook does is that it's an e-reader for reading books, black and white books, and it does it extremely well. The battery life lasts an extremely long time. If you want uh, Stephen Hawkins to read you a story on uh, whatever book that you have and have some computer voice read to you, um, I mean, you could, you could do that with it. You could get a different device, and that'll work for you. For me, I, I, like, I like being able to escape and get into the story, and I have my own voices in my head on what the characters sound like. And also, if you're on vacation, for example, right now I'm in Central Oregon, uh, I might not have access to charge this device, even though I really do. But So you could sit out here for months without charging your device, have the Wi-Fi off, and just read a book. And you couldn't say the same with the previous version of this Nook or with the Nook Color. You know, you're going to have to charge that thing eventually after, uh, you know, a couple weeks at most. So... So having this be able to go too much is just, I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's a, I've, I've charged this thing twice since owning it. Uh, so I, I think that's pretty impressive because I've had it since the end of May, I believe. So let's see, what else could I talk about on this thing? Um, it's very, uh, some very simple design, the power buttons here in the back. Uh, one thing I don't like is that the accessories are fairly expensive for this right now since it's so new. If you were to go to REI and try to get a waterproof cover for this, for example, or, or get a sleeve at Barnes & Noble, it's pricey. For example, this, uh, the Nook cost me about, uh, with tax, I don't know, close to 150 bucks, 140 bucks. Uh, and this little case for it costs 30 bucks. So it's a large percentage, I think. So I think uh, probably it's because it's, more, it's so new and that a lot of uh, manufacturers of these don't haven't really made all the new Nook, um, you know, cases and accessories, lights and things like that. So if you're, if, so that's one little negative that I have on it. So if you want to have your you know, clip on light, if you buy it from Barnes and Noble, it's going to be pricey. And so uh, I, I splurged and got the 30 buck version of that, but it, that's kind of overkill, I think, for, for what this really is. Um, you know, if you're, so reading in daylight is extreme, it works extremely well. I go down to Mexico about once a year and having this down there would be extremely handy in the, in the sun. Uh, I could definitely still read just like I could read some normal book. Um, if I'm reading at bed at night, you know, I'm going to have to have a light just like I would on a normal book. If you had a color screen, an LCD screen, uh, that wouldn't be a problem. Although, uh, you know, reading in the daytime would, would, would be, uh, yeah, it'd be harder to do and the battery's not going to last as long. Uh, so, geez, I could go on and on and on about, you know, showing you how to, I don't want to give you a tutorial on how to use this. I just want to give you my overall impression of it. And my overall impression is that I really like it. And I find that I'm carrying this thing all the time, uh, just because it's so handy to have around. And I also really enjoy the search uh, methods that, that it allows you to do. So being able to search through, uh, different uh, books and PDFs and manuals, uh, for a particular topic that I'm thinking about and instantly find that I, <clears throat> it's a very, very slick design. It's very smart. I, I like the, when, when you're reading it, you're not, after a while, after you get over the fact that you're holding this light little device, it's, uh, you, you read it just like a normal book. You're not thinking about, Hey, I'm reading some e-reader. I'm, you know, for me, I'm, I'm reading a book and it, the, the ink is, looks just as well as what a normal book does. So they advertise this as being a, you know, Amazon Kindle killer. Yeah, I don't know about that. The Kindle does some things good too, as far as like the audio and stuff. But you know, these e-readers eventually they're going to start becoming book killers. I could just see it now in the just like Fahrenheit 451, I guess. But uh, uh which is I don't know, it's kind of scary. But it's <laughs> having this. Uh, it's it's they're really come a long way. I'm really impressed with these e-readers. I, I wasn't into it a couple of years ago, uh, but recently it's just the technology has grown and changed so much. It's a really cool technology. So if you guys have any questions regarding this, uh, send me a comment or a private message. I highly recommend the Barnes & Noble Nook. I've looked at the Kindle as well, and I've looked at other versions. I really like this one. If you just want to read a book, and that's all you want to do, you don't want to have Stephen Hawkins read to you, you don't want to be able to listen to your MP3s, uh, and you, you just want to sit on the beach and read the read a book, get the, the Barnes & Noble Nook second generation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
in summary, I really enjoy the Barnes & Noble Nook. I think it's a great e-reader. It's not really a multi-function device, so if you're looking for something to be able to surf the web, listen to music, uh, watch movies, that this isn't the device for you. But if all you want to do is sit back on vacation, not have to worry about charging your device, I think that the Barnes & Noble Nook gen second generation is definitely the way to go. Uh, it's, it's just a great e-reader. It does one thing, and it does it really well, and that just allows you to read books electronically. So if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding the device, please feel free to leave any comments. Send me a private message if you like as well. And again, this is the second generation Barnes & Noble Nook. Take care.